you know, summer is officially around the corner, but listen, we're here in Florida, so it's already here. It is already hot. We've got those temperatures nearing 90 degrees. So maybe you want a cool, crisp, hip and refreshing dish. So we've got our friends Ed and Joe from the Broken Plate Supper Club who are going to show us something. First of all, I want to talk about this because you guys are going a little different route. You're chefs, but you are not doing the brick and mortar. Yeah. So we do uh, pop-up dinners around town. Uh, we're hosted at different houses. Um, it's ticketed events, so you show up, you buy a ticket, come by, there's wine pairings. Uh, we're doing a Japanese dinner, so there'll be sake pairings. So, yeah, and we, and like we got to sake it up. down there. I promised we did not take any shots before. <laughs> <laughs> not allowed to do that before the segment. So, what do we have right here? Obviously, you got the tuna, you got the fresh veggies. This so, looks like it's going to be really refreshing. This is a dish that we're preparing for um our next dinner it is a miso mustard tuna and cucumber salad and you can do this at home it's super simple super easy uh you can have a lot of fun with it you can prepare it several different ways so i'm just gonna start cutting the tuna and all the ingredients you can get at Publix. it's not like a super foreign thing right so you don't have to you know <laughs> Uh, send away or go to Japan to pick anything exactly, up, right? Exactly, yeah. Really easy and really simple. I actually got all the ingredients this morning at the store. Okay. So. Awesome. Mm. Joe's back there supervising quality control, <laughs> right? <laughs> I forgot my floral shirt today. Nobody gave me the memo, so I feel a little left out. Here I am well, with my tie It's almost summertime. It's beautiful outside. Right, of course. Perfect right. time for a tuna salad. So, so where did you two learn? your skills? I'm mostly self-taught. I just really loved cooking and I bought every cookbook there was. Okay. So you're saying that there is a chance for the rest of us. There is a chance. <laughs> <laughs> There's right. definitely a chance. You got that go. tuna filet sliced up. Now yeah, it's so you want nice little cubes. And then for the cucumber, you want to cut it into quarters just try and keep everything the same size yeah mm -hmm. score out the middle you want to get rid of these seeds because it's just going to add a lot of extra moisture to it okay Ooh. this out of here and you can change this up too I mean, yeah you, you can you can have a ton of fun with it i'm doing it the most simple way i'm gonna throw a little extra stuff that i like in it we have to keep it simple here on TV, but, yeah. but obviously if people come to your dinners, I, I mean, do they get to, to kind of learn how you do some of these things? I mean, I'll, I'll share my secrets. <laughs> a few here and there. Yeah. There's definitely a level of interaction, too, with our dinners as well. Uh -huh. um, we bring all our plates out. We kind of talk you through it. We kind of explain the mentality and the vision that we had when we put that menu together in the first place. Sure, sure. And what goes behind starting a supper club? I mean, obviously... You know, they're really popular in a lot of the big cities, a lot of the foodie places. It, you don't hear about it too much here in Jacksonville. It really started as us just looking for an outlet, somewhere mm. to cook where we can be creative and not be constrained by the just typical foundations that a restaurant uses to be successful. Right. Um, and we got together and kind of made it happen. And now we have a ton of young chefs in town who really care about what they do and they want to be creative. And now they have a place to do that. Awesome. Awesome. So you bring in all these special guests. All right, where are we at right here with this Sweet. tuna So salad. I'm just finishing cutting up the cucumber. I'll help if you need me to. <laughs> yeah, you want to help? <laughs> I can be trusted with a knife every cool. once in a while. <laughs> so uh, if you grab the bowl, I'll show you how to make the dressing for this okay. little tuna salad. All right. I got a bowl Pump right there up. around the corner. Ah, hidden. So this is super easy. It's four ingredients. It is Chinese hot mustard. Mm -hmm. Just want to do one scoop of it. Rice vinegar. Mirin. Okay. Brand new bottle of Mirin. <laughs> oh yeah. Mirin's going to give it a little bit of sweet and I like to have it a little sweeter. So I do about three spoonfuls. Okay. and miso. So this is white miso. Ah. 
this is kind of going to be the start of the dressing. I wasn't so. sure what that was. I was like, is that brown sugar? Is that... <laughs> no, so miso is a uh, fermented soybean. Sweet. So you just give this a little mix, kind of get it all okay. together. Got to get that paste consistency yep. right there. Okay. I'm ready to see this. So now you've got some really fun textures in the bowl in here, mm -hmm. and you're just going to toss those with your tuna and your cucumber. It's kind of the vehicle for all the flavor in this plate. Okay. And then he's just going to finish it on top with some toasted sesame seeds. Yeah. So I like to judge mine up with a little uh, black garlic. All right. Just a little more kick to it. Yeah. Kind of gives it a little deeper flavor. Well, we got to get this thing. Uh, got to get this thing plated so we can show it on TV. <laughs> so. Go. And just the final touch, a little bit of sesame oil. All right. We kind of get all these Mix things tossed together. Mix it up. And we are in the, the final stages right here. Got to wrap this thing up. So there you go. It is fresh. It is delicious. We have an audience out here that's going to get to taste test this. Appreciate you guys coming on. What, um, what do people need to do to get in contact with you? Um, just follow us on Instagram, brokenplate.supperclub. Um, our link to all our dinners are gonna be there. Awesome, cool. Well, let's make this happen. Look at that, we will be right back. Thank you guys for coming on, Ed and Joe. That looks really good, refreshing.